If you've got a lawn with a built-in sprinkler system, this is the video for you because I'm gonna share one of the best upgrades you could ever consider doing. Now that's to upgrade your sprinkler system's controller. Now you might be scared of the one you have and if it looks like one of these, you probably should be. These knobs and liquid crystal displays are technology back from the 70s. But fortunately, there's a better way to run your sprinklers and that's by using a system called Rakio. Rakio replaces your sprinkler controller with an easy to install box, but then you can run it from your computer, smartphone, and you can do it from anywhere. And when a friend of mine saw me running my sprinklers from my phone and wanted to get the same system, I told him to get a Rakio and then I put it in for him. Here's his existing system. Now this is very common. It's made by Hunter and it's capable of running up to eight zones. And here's our Rakio controller. Now this is their model 3E. It costs about $150 and you get everything you'll need for the installation right inside the box. You want to start by removing the access cover on your existing controller. Now this is easy to do. It usually just slides or pops off. Next, you'll want to remove the power supply that's running your controller. Now don't panic when you see all these wires because the first tip is those colors don't mean anything at all. What matters is where each color is connected to. So you want to pay close attention to the text on each one of those screws. But to give yourself a backup plan, go ahead and take a picture with your smartphone and now you'll have an exact history if you need to go back for reference. Your first wires you want to remove are the wires that power the unit itself. They're going to be labeled with something that says 24 volts AC or something similar. Now the other end of these is the actual power plug that you already unplugged. Now we're left with wires that control each one of your sprinkler zones along with a common wire and a sensor wire. Now the sensor wire is if you've got a rain sensor on your system, but the good news is you don't really need to know what any of these individual wires do. You're going to reconnect every one of these wires to the exact same spot on your Rakio. They designed the Rakio to match up with existing sprinkler systems so that it'd be really easy to install. With the wires out, we can remove our old controller. Now that's easy to do. You're gonna start by removing any visible screws like this. And then once that's out, you can go ahead and slide the unit upward or possibly to the side to remove it. Now we can start a new installation by putting our new controller on the wall. Now Rikio is really cleverly designed and that starts even with the mounting screws. You're gonna take one of the included screws, put it into that top hole, level your unit, and then you can put the other two screws into the bottom holes. Now we need to rewire our new unit, but this is even easier because you'll notice there's no screw terminals. You just take the wires and push them right into those connectors. They lock in a position and they can't be pulled out unless you push up on the tab. Now just continue to put each one of the colored wires into the same position that they were on your old controller. So again, this is where you're gonna to refer to that picture you took of your old controller's wiring. You might have noticed on the old system, the rain sensor wiring was just labeled with S. On this one, it's labeled S1 and 2. Now there's no polarity on a rain sensor, so you can actually use either of the wires in either position. You may have also noticed that that green wire wasn't connected to anything at all in the old system. Now in normal electrical things, green means ground, but on a sprinkler system, the green doesn't mean anything at all. In fact, that wire is there so that you could add an extra zone in the future, but you should go ahead and mirror whatever your old system was, and if the wire was bent off to the side like it was on ours, just do the same thing on the Rakio. Wiring this up only took about two minutes, but you want to take a second to double check that photo and make sure all the colors are going to the same positions that they were in your old one. With everything connected, you can grab the power supply that came with your Rakio. It just simply plugs into the power import. With everything connected, we can put the cover back on the unit, but you don't even need to screw this thing on. It's actually got magnets on the back side of the cover that hold it tightly in place. Now this is where things get really easy. As this thing's powering up, it's gonna light up all types of different colors, but all you need to do is go to your app store on your phone or your iPad and get the Rakio app. You just pick add controller, you take a photo of your serial number, and it sets itself up. But the next steps are even better because you wanna go outside and it's gonna walk you through testing each one of your zones. And this does a couple of things. It's gonna make sure that it's working correctly, but then it's gonna allow you to take a photo of the area. And additionally, you can tell it what type of plants you have or if it's watering grass so that it can help you set up the right type of watering schedule for you. 
Now in less than 30 minutes, we've got our new controller installed. And this is a really big upgrade. It's not just a replacement for your old timer. It's actually a true smart watering device. So you can set this thing manually and control it from your phone or anywhere else. But additionally, you can also put it on a fully automatic schedule. So if you're doing things like watering your lawn too much or too little, now this system can take over and adjust according to the weather. But if you want to do things like overseeding, this is so handy because you can manually control this anytime you want. That's a big upgrade from any type of old controller. So hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.